<laughs> oh my god, what's up guys? My name is Potato and this is uh, 1.9 pre-release 3. <laughs> and this is a baby sheep. Uh, it is just the most adorable thing in the world and I, I really hope that this was on purpose. The, the giant head for babies because this is just... This is just fantastic. <laughs> he looks so stupid. Look at him run. <laughs> Look at his little feet go. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. <laughs> uh, you're not as funny anymore. Now the baby ones are funny. <laughs> uh, anyways. We're going to uh, delve a little bit more into the, uh, the new craftables and... Um, this new enchantment thing and if you can already tell I have too many items on uh, right over here you can see these uh, these glass towers uh, those are debug tools that Jeff has used to find strongholds and he forgot to take them out but um, there's something interesting I'm gonna show you guys in there later on uh, as of right now since we're already here um, I guess we can go over the new uh, new craftables or what's craftable now um, first of which is you can now make uh, cauldrons by making a very uh, basically upside down pants and uh, iron you know now you got pants now you got a cauldron uh, which will give you a cauldron which you can uh, just place down there it's pretty pretty sweet um, you can also make uh, I guess I think they're called cauldron stands you do one of those and you put a blaze rod uh, up in the top center part so it's cobblestone and then a blaze rod and it, oh, it was a brewing stand my mistake um, let's make a few of those okay I guess we're making uh, making that many and um, that's what they look like okay apparently I can't right click on them if I'm holding another one um, and from what I hear, there's some way of activating these. I, I forgot why, or forgot how, but I'll, I'll look that up. And uh, to make bottles, of course, it's just uh, a glass boat, basically. And uh, we have bottles. Perhaps I have to put these bottles in. There we go, right there. Put bottles in there, and then uh, I assume you just toss whatever up on the top part but obviously not because that didn't work oh that's neat if I just put in one bottle one bottle shows up cool and it's pretty nifty and um, I assume maybe these will change color or something when um, they're available and you guys are starting to really annoy me so goodbye you have no more parents you are an orphan how does that make <laughs> Uh, whatever. Uh, this enchantment booklet here is used to enchant weapons, tools, and uh, armor. And you can see, I, I don't know what the fuck these say. Um, perhaps I'm, I'll come back to this a little bit later after I, um, look at that, little different, different ones every single time. Uh, I assume that this is uh, for experience. I have to uh, gain an amount of experience before, uh, I can go and uh, grab that shit. So uh, between breaks, I'm gonna go to the Nether and just kill a shit shit ton of pigmen. And um, what else is new? Uh, you can make um, magma cream like that, which is used in potions as well. Um, fermented spider. I need sugar, I believe. It's a uh, sugar and a brown mushroom. Whoa, this is a uh, too many items thing. It's too confusing. I always lose track of where I am. All right, so I don't need that many, but I think it's like that. Fermented spider eye. Um. Oh. Can it? All right. Well, 
These three things just need to be in here in any sort of order, apparently, right now. Uh, but fermented spider eyes are used for uh, potions as well. Maybe I'll just make a few more, I guess. Uh, or not. There we go. Um, what else? I think that's all there is right now. Um, let's make some potions. All right, so I've already made a few mistakes, um, mainly because I wasn't paying attention and didn't actually read uh, about the potion things. Figures it was just going to be a um, a real, and these things are really starting to bother me. They just keep popping up, no matter how many times I kill them. I just keep keep popping up. All right, there we go. So, uh, real quick. To make this uh, enchantment thing, uh, I, I didn't go into that. You need, um, I think, four blocks of obsidian, like that. You need two diamonds, like that. And um, you need a book, a single book. There we go. And it goes right up on top, and then it makes this enchantment table, uh, which looks exactly like that one. And then the book follows you. And uh, I think there's actually supposed to be particles or something that comes off of it, but um, I could be wrong. So that's how you make the enchantment table. Um, again, whenever I get more experience, I'll come back there. Uh, or maybe those are levels. Perhaps those are levels. Like I need to be level two to get there and five. Um, but we'll find we'll find out more about that a little bit later. Right now, we're gonna get back to potion making. Um, so I took all of my bottles out because uh, I realized that these actually need to be filled with whoop, with water, these cauldrons. So you right click a bucket of water and cauldron and um, then you use your bottles to fill it up and you get three um, three water bottles for every thing uh, water in your cauldron. Now uh, I'm not sure but we're about to find out right now. You can just get water from regular old water. You don't need the cauldron water. So we're gonna put in uh, our water bottles here. I can't just shift click them. Oh well. Put these all in here and then uh, when we start we're going to start with a base um, a base ingredient. Okay and that's where the nether wart comes in. Uh, nether wart is a neutral base uh, which will make, I believe, awkward potions. And to start potions, you have to layer them. So you always start with the base, and they add no effects. Um, they do, however, add... Uh, uh, I don't even know how to... Uh, it's not effects. Like, Nether Wart is a neutral base. Uh, fermented Spider Eyes... Uh, gives negative effects. It adds, uh, I think, the weakness uh, pretext to them. There is glowstone dust right here, which will add. Uh, it's an extender. It raises the the potency of effects. So um, it'll raise the level uh, the level of them. Uh, and then there's redstone dust, which is a, an extender that raises the duration of all the effects. So uh, once they're done, you'll have right here awkward potion no effects uh, this one is done potion of weakness uh, this one is almost done and boop, thick potion no effects and this one is done pretty soon um, I think this one's okay mundane alright so after that is where you add your effects so um, I believe uh, blaze powder is actually used for uh, strength. Uh, gas tears, I think, are instant health, if I remember correctly. Let me uh, let me find one here. I'll just toss one in there. Nope. Okay. Well, we can't do instant health on a weakness potion. That's probably what it is. So we'll do it not on a potency one either. Perhaps this one? Nope. Okay. So that one is probably one that goes into another wart. Um, okay. I can't. Oh, all right. Well, whatever. 
I can't stack these, so I'm just gonna give me a, give myself a few. And uh, fuck it, I'll put it in the back here. And uh, we'll give ourselves a few more neutral ones. All right, there we go. So now we have potion of strength from here. And uh, I'm not sure if you can keep um, right there strength. So we got three minutes of uh, extra strength, and I assume that's for attacking and stuff like that. That'll probably come in useful, or if you ever go to the Nether and need to kick some ass and need to kick it quick, uh, pick up that experience ball over there. Now, um, let's see what goes good with um, weakness. Or well, actually, no, I think these are already potions, aren't they? So. Drink one of those. Yep, weakness. Right? Or weakness. Not quite sure why you'd want the weakness one. Why you'd want a negative uh, potion, but it's there. Um, do one of those. Put a. I don't know. Let's see. Can we keep adding? No, we can't. Okay, so these are already done. So once you. Uh, apparently, you can only layer them once. I don't know. That just seems weird to me. I thought you could uh you could add more if you kept going. So let's do um let's do another one of these. Okay, so thick potions. Uh what else can we add? Fire resistance. Magma cream provides uh fire resistance. No? Sugar? No? Okay, well. Can't add slime balls? Nope. Um, magma rod? Nope. Wheat? Nope. Ender pearls? Nope. Okay. Well. Now I don't know what to do. Spider eyes, perhaps? Let me grab one of these. Nope. You need a base. Oh no, I already gave you a base. Okay, well. Uh, as you can see, that's working. So we'll put a gas tier in here, which are the awkward potions, uh, which should give us an instant health potion. Uh, spider eye over here, which I think is poison, if I remember right. I'm not sure. Um, I was gonna say, where are my nether warts? There they are. I'll put um, strength is still gone. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure what I think maybe no it lets me put it in there but it doesn't nothing happens interesting hmm I'm gonna have to read up on that real quick to see how we go about doing that here's a uh, Potion of instant healing. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to heal my s or hurt myself, I guess, except for drowning. We'll do that. Why not? Take it from uh, to normal. And then uh, we'll just wait this one out. And hopefully, I can figure out how to make the more complicated potions. Alright, three hearts, four hearts. And then, boop! And it gave me about three hearts or so, somewhere around there. Uh, and uh, I will be right back after I look up this a little bit more. Alright, so, after a little bit more reading, I, um, I figured something out. And uh, I actually made these right here, Potion of Harming, which is instant damage number two. Um, it's the way potions work is... Um, See right here we have awkward potions, okay? These are just regular old base potions, okay? They're uh, just use nether wart and that's it. So after nether wart, uh, we can add in, let's do blaze powder again for, uh, for strength. And so we'll have those ones go for strength. And these ones right here, we'll use, um, we'll use a gas here for, for healing. And uh, here's my thick and mundane potions, which we won't go into. And um, 
Over here we'll use, uh, we'll put sugar uh, for potions of swiftness. Now, um, once these are done, we'll have a base level level one potion, okay? And uh, as if you guys remember, uh, glowstone and redstone are extenders. Glowstone raises the potency and redstone increases the duration. So right now our duration is three minutes. I think that's pretty long. So I'm going to put glowstone in to increase the, um, the potency of it, which I believe is that number right after 373, nine. So it'll increase my strength nine whatevers. I don't know what he does in this game. But uh, instant health, there is no duration. So, okay, like I thought, redstone wouldn't work. But if we put glowstone in, it should increase the, uh, the amount that we get healed. Now, I don't believe it's one heart. I don't, I need to know what those numbers are, but I'm, I'm just, uh, okay. So right here, potion of weakness is now four minutes. I put, um, redstone in this earlier, increased it from a minute and 30, I think, to four. Um, so if we do, let's put in, uh, okay, we can't do redstone again, but if we put glowstone, perhaps we'll get a, um, a stronger weakness potion, which right now is what? 72 and four minutes. Uh, over here, you have potions of instant harming. You see instant damage number two. Um can't put another glowstone in there perhaps a redstone okay now people are saying that these counteract each other and have reverse effects so perhaps this will take it back to instant damage one I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens okay so right there yeah see this took it down so it did have the opposite effect so this should take it from instant damage two to one and um, right here we'll put another redstone in and that should take it from a minute 30 back to four right there there you go so they have opposite effects and I thought you could go to level three on these but perhaps I'm wrong so we're at level two right now we can't add another glowstone um, can we add another blaze powder no nope. um, what about nether wart nope okay so Okay, but I can add a fermented spider eye. Fermented spider eyes um, give weakness. So I assume that this would take it from strength two to back to strength one. Uh, I don't know if I wanna do that or not. I'll just take one and we'll do it to the other two. Uh, potion of healing or instant health two. Um, let's see if we can't. Nether Wart doesn't do anything, so I don't think you can actually add it as an extender. Can't do that. But we can add in Redstone, but that's just going to take us back down to one. So let's see what Fermented Eye does to it. Potion of Weakness. So it's it switched it from our um, Potion of Strength to a level 2 Weakness. Because it's uh, 4 minutes, you can see there. And I believe, push of weakness, yeah, these are level twos as well. And um, I'm not sure what else we can do with this. I know there is, um, if we do, do I have any regular? Potion of swiftness, okay. So three minutes. It's pretty good. Uh, I wonder if we can actually make it go faster. Okay, that'll be pretty cool. Um, so mundane potions. Let's uh let's get rid of these because I don't I don't know if we can we can't do anything with these yet. No. At least uh as far as my knowledge goes, we can't use thick and mundane for anything yet. So let's get three more um potions in here and start off with some awkward uh potions. All right. So that just took it down to uh to weakness potions as well. Um, no, can't add magma cream to it. What about no? Okay, well, whatever. We'll we'll take uh we'll take the the super potions I guess. 
No, nothing. I don't know why I keep trying the same thing. Like, oh, maybe it'll work now. No, it won't work now. Can't use blaze rods. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, all right. I'm on normal now. Perhaps I should go say hello to this creeper with uh, my sword. Give myself uh, some diamond armor. Gave myself two pants for some goddamn reason. Sometimes you just need two pants. I don't. I don't know. Let's go say hello. Oh, okay, he said hello first. Oh, you're a cow. Ah, here we go. Trying to get them criticals. No, okay. Well, whatever. That's some shitty experience right there. So, again, I'm going to have to go do that uh, off camera so it doesn't take forever. Um, I don't have any potions there. So, have some awkward potions here. If we add a magma cream to it, it'll add fire resistance. And apparently, people are saying that you can walk through lava with it. So, let's um, put some lava down here. And uh, see what's up. And then um, we'll get rid of that and maybe add in some fire to uh, to the mix and see if uh, that's any different. What's that one? Okay, potion of fire resistance. So uh, right now it's at a three minute mark. Don't think, yep, can't add glowstone. So if it has a time on it, you can't make the potency better. Uh, you'd have to use redstone. But, um, wow, that was really quick. I turned around for, oh, okay. I was going to say, what happened? Where was that one then? Oh, that's in the back. Apparently I had some fire resistance potions already gone. So uh, redstone should increase this time from three minutes to shoot I don't even know six maybe eight eight minutes um, now that's that's pretty amazing so let's try this three minute one fire resistance so well would you look at that we'll walk right through fire or lava at least and uh, through fire let's uh, go put ourselves out here yeah, I'm definitely on fire. Do you see this? Do you see this cow? Look, at, I'm on fire. Well, that's just incredible. That that's basically makes you invincible right there. That and like strength potion. I think uh, I think you're good to go after that point, right? So I'm gonna drink my eight minute one. Yeah, no different. Just whatever. It's just another day. It doesn't even take damage off of uh, the diamond armor or anything. Now that's pretty neat. Um, so I don't need those anymore. Let's try one of our... Uh, do we have our swiftness potions done yet? Mundane? No. Okay. So we got our speed potions here. So a minute and a half of just straight up speed. So let's... Um, Let's uh let's test this by making a, a ramp or something. So uh, 16 blocks. So um, all right, 16 blocks right there, and um, apparently, what was it before? We can jump four blocks, I believe, right? One, two, three, four. So four blocks like that right with the normal sprint oh well I guess it would help if I actually sprinted or jumped wouldn't it so jump okay four blocks that's about uh, our maximum right now so um, let's uh, try five blocks six 
and uh, seven. I don't know exactly how many blocks we can jump from yet, but uh, this will be a good test. I don't even know why I put those 16 blocks out, honestly, guys. I mean, I'm just kind of going off of the off the cuff right now. So, let's drink our speed potion here. Whoa, just made our view a little bit more crazy. So. Okay, well again, probably help if I jumped. Okay, well we could jump four still. Can't can't jump five. Ah, I don't know why the view is throwing me off, I think, but it doesn't look like we can actually jump. We can't jump any further. It's not even close to feeling like I'm going further. Even though I am running faster, I'm running a lot faster actually. I am flying right now. This is pretty crazy. This is going to make getting around places a lot easier. Oh, right. I'm out of. Oh shit. Okay. We need some some steaks. Just eat this real quick, and now I can sprint again. Look at that. It's actually faster to stay on the ground now than to sprint and jump. Which is uh, how I got around beforehand. This is going to make uh, getting around pretty awesome. So I would assume that uh, speed potions or swift potions are going to be a, uh, a necessity to um, explorers and all that junk. So I'm out of that. Well, um, we should go try our um, healing potion now. I'm just going to keep jumping down this. Uh, do I take more damage with or without armor for falling damage? I'll just delete these. I don't need them. Nope, same amount of damage. Go like this, and then miss the jump completely. You know, because that's that's how awesome I am. I am just gonna die here. Watch, this is me. Oh nope. Okay, so we got two hearts left, and we have a uh, instant health potion number two. So two hearts. All right. Well, that's cool takes us up uh, what is that one two three four five six hearts six hearts it's a good potion um, a lot of people were complaining about how they can't um, he got rid of the instant healing and um, I was added back in through the magic of potions um, get rid of those this is gonna be a one long ass episode I'm not even gonna do sections I probably will do sections, but I won't start each one dedicated to anything, I guess. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm editing. What else? I know there is um, something with enderpearls now. Maybe it's just a normal spider eye. Oh, there we go. No? My, uh... Cause I'm crazy. It's definitely a new uh, new recipe to make. Uh, something with ender ender pearls to make ender eyes or something. I will find it. Um, oh, it's ender pearl and blaze powder. There we go. I have Ender, which who knows what this does. Perhaps it's a potion. Nope. Can't even put it in there, so... Hmm. 
Potion of weakness. Four minutes. Drink that. Now I'm weak for four minutes. Maybe fire will hurt me now. Nope. Um, just potion of strength. Strength and weakness. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, strength, weakness. I don't, I don't need any of you guys anymore. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's actually going to cover our potion section of this. And um, I'm going to go check out the stronghold over there and show you guys what uh, these new tiles are. Right there, those blue ones. And um, hopefully I can find some ender goo too. Because I'd like to show you guys that. And I will see you for the...